So we were going to Clonabrainy House and there was a wedding there. So it was a cousin of mine. So Trina, my mum was there and we were all there. All the cousins, everybody, the boys. I had a three-piece suit. I locked up the house. Two socks and a pair of jeans. I locked up the house and I ordered a minibus to take us to Clonabrainy House from our house near the Kells Road in Navan. And, I, and as we left the house, I checked the door and I had the key of my mother's house. And I said, I've got the key, by the way. And we went to the wedding and we had a great night at the wedding. And then at about 11 o'clock that night, we were waltzing and about one in the morning, everyone's getting tired. And I ordered the same man from Navin to come back and collect me in a minibus. And then my mum was well into her uh, 70s at this stage. I thought you were saying, you were going to say she was well into the wine. And- we were well on it. So we, went, we, we got the minibus back from Clonabrainy, the far side of Kells, into Navin. And it took, it, was, it took 30 minutes, 40 minutes, great celebrations. And I get to the door of my house at a quarter to two, a quarter to two in the morning. And I try and find the key. I'm searching the suit. And the minibus... The infinite min- amount of pockets. The minibus goes. Inside pockets. The minibus goes. Pockets. The minibus goes. And I'm after having about 14 points. Just, uh, one second. And it was a, a heavy duty key. And then into the short pockets. Into, you know that, do you know that suit? pocket at the back which has a button and I'm down and there's wads of cash coming out and I'm there and I'm there and, I'm there, and my mother is there take that receipt and stamp <laughs> and then there's the menu from the t- hotel is Snooker there <laughs> and I'm going one second there lads and there's no key and I'm there too and, many then, and then and then I take my jacket off and I give it to my brother and I said can you check that because I'm well on at this stage and he's checking the jacket and then I'm there going, right. And then we check outside under the, the pot of flowers. And then I went, did we ever leave a key out under the stones in the secret place? And we were over there and there's no key. So then there's about six of us standing outside the house at about two o'clock in the morning. And my mother is there. <laughs> and, then, and she's there. Uh, okay. And then I'm there going, no key, no key, no key. Another 15 minutes of searching. I searched jacket, shirt, Everything. I said, I'll take care of everything here. I'll take care of it. <laughs> give me the, one, give me, one of the kids <laughs> in through the window. <laughs> give me the mobile. Google, Google. Arboyne Hotel. Hello? Hello? Yeah, is that the Arboyne Hotel? Yeah, hi, it's Hector. Yeah, Hector. Hector. H-E-K-C-T-O. So, hello? Yeah. <laughs> have you got a couple of rooms tonight? Yes, you have. Thank you. I'll take three of them right now. We'll be there in 50 minutes. <laughs> what time? This is at three o'clock in the morning oh, stop, outside my house. Stop, stop. So we had no key out or nothing. How did you get there? We had no key out or nothing. My mother turned into Medusa. She was like, the key! I've got the key. Who's got the key? So I, and then I had to ring the same taxi man back. Paul! <laughs> Paul, it's Hector. You wouldn't come back. <laughs> and bring us out to the yard, boy. <laughs> We're, we're staying there tonight. <laughs> imagine, imagine dropping the family off at home and then the family house and then he had to come back and bring the dog. <laughs> Talk about broken families. Talk about fucked up families. <laughs> and then we all had to point into the minibus again. We all had to point into the minibus. And I said, how are you, Paul? How's it going? <laughs> and he said, I thought I was just finished for the night. <laughs> He said, I okay, get one more run. And I said, it's a long story, Paul. He said, he, pro- he dropped us off at the... <laughs> he gets better. He gets Please better. Please, God, no, he can't. He gets better. Oh, I'm, up to the, I'm up to the reception. We need a break. I'm up to the reception in the Arboyne Hotel at three o'clock in the morning, booking my family in. <laughs> and my mother's going, get me a bed. Quick, quick. Your mother is out I took three shit. rooms for everybody and I put my mum in. I got a cup of tea and I put my mum in. Then my brother went down for another pint and I said, I need a pint. And then everyone was like this. I got up at seven in the morning on that Saturday morning. And I was out in the car. I was outside in the, in the, in the foyer and I was Googling. Navin, locksmiths, locksmiths, <laughs> locksmiths, okay. Then at nine o'clock, half nine, Saturday. Hello, how are you? How are you? Tecta here. Um, you're, uh, w- would you be able to do a job and go in the back door of a house? Oh, yeah, Hector, no bother. We'd be there about 11 o'clock. Is there? Can you do it any sooner? We're in a hotel. No, no, about half, 11, 12. Out to the house again with the locksmith while everyone was in the hotel. Locksmith arrives. I get a taxi to the house. 
he goes to the back door and he goes, are you sure the one you want to do this, Hector? You've no key, have you? So he just goes, <laughs> breaks the thing. <laughs> oh, he has a gun or a piston go. <laughs> Next week, he puts in a new thing and puts in a new plain glass of window and the whole thing. He gives me a new keys and everything. So he gives me four new keys to the back door. Back out to the yard, buying. Collect all the family. Ring the taxi again. How are you? Hello. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. This is two o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon and we're all looking like it's the, the, the zombies. And we finally get home and we go in the back door and we open the back door and then I go for a shower. And then I take off my suit and I hang the suit up. Then I go, what's that little slitty, tiny little pocket that's inside? There's a little slit pocket. Shut up. Tiny little pocket beside the lapel. A do you know secret what? pocket, Jeff. Do you know what? On the inside of the jacket. On the inside. There's a tiny slit. There's a second slit Look at pocket. Look there. There's You've a, got one yeah, there. Yeah, but there's Look. a tiny slit oh, pocket. Oh, no. There's a secret pocket. There's a secret pocket. Uh -oh. And what came out of the fucking jacket? The fucking key. Well, I swear to fuck. <laughs> Did I tell my mother? No. And Lord rest her. Thanks be to Jesus, no. It cost me about fucking 550 fucking euro. I've got the key, by the way. <laughs>